All right, let's get right into it. Topic of the week, all that good stuff of the week, once again, deals with mixed martial arts. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not going to do this every other week. I just have to do this. I got to prove this to myself and to other people, okay? When we did the video talking about would you like have sex with somebody who's HIV positive, I said that I for sure would not fight a man. And then I showed the video where the guy's just bleeding all over the place. And what was it? Lay Miss Ann, I believe, said MMA looks like legalized street fighting or legal street fighting, something like that. And Oh, it's been bugging me ever since then because I promise you it is not. It's not the human cockfighting or anything like that, in my opinion, you know. You have two athletes who have been practicing for some time now to fight each other at a specific weight with rules. You can't kick somebody in the head when they're on the ground. No ball punching, no head butts, no hair pull, no eye poke, things of that nature. There are rules, you know, you can't just go out there and do whatever you want. But you can do a lot of things. It's not just boxing or wrestling, it truly is mixed martial arts. It's a mixture of like damn near anything you want. You got judo, jujitsu, you have kickboxing, boxing, Muay Thai, you know, Sambo, Submission Grappling, the list goes on and on, all right? And, oh God, I just, I have to prove it, I have to, you know? And the other day I was walking around Walmart and I saw this magazine right here, all right? And it was talking about, right on the cover, Inside MMA's Gay Demographic. It talked about, how there are plenty of gay fans of mixed martial arts. Even though it appears to be the manliest sport ever, it is in fact pretty fucking gay. And it's just amazing. So, here be the plan. I got links in the side, right? The first one is, I believe, called Hero of the Day. Now this uses a Metallica song. I know what you're thinking. Not everybody likes Metallica or wants to admit that they like Metallica. Not everybody loves that fucking rock and roll Metallica. You know, not everybody likes that. But this Metallica song is good. It's actually kind of, it's a good song. It's not straight up balls to the wall, rock your fucking cock off, you know. It's got a little bit of that, but it's got other parts too. And it's a good jam, damn it. And I suggest you check it out because... See that cat right there? You see that cat? That is Miguel Torres. He is my favorite fighter at 135 pounds. He is my Mr. Sexy at 135 pounds. And he is a savage beast. But if you check out this first video and go to 2 minutes and 12 seconds, you will see him get just savagely knocked the fuck out. I mean, it's horrible. He's completely unconscious, and he's still taking shots. And it breaks my heart. It's my oh my god moment. You know that, oh, oh no. That's my moment from that video. What's your moment, you know? Or you can check out the second video. It said MMA 2009 highlight. And if you do, you will see this man. Andre the Pitbull Arlovsky. Now, he is my favorite fighter ever. He fights in the heavyweight division, and I love the shit out of him. I don't just love him because he's from Belarus, now living in Chicago. I don't love him because he's tall, dark, and handsome, or the fact that he has just a vicious Belarusian accent, or even the fact that he looks straight up like the dude from 300. I love him because he goes out there, puts it all on the line, and he hates dog fighting, as everybody should. Do you hate dog fighting? You fucking should. I'm taking a big stance right here. Fuck dog fighting. You fight dogs, you're a fucking bitch. That's how it is. Michael Vick, you're hot garbage, should never be allowed back in the NFL, but you are, and you can go fuck yourself. Fuck you, Michael Vick, and dog fighting. Maybe if you want, check out knockoutdogfighting.org. 
Good cause there. Good cause. And Andre Arlovsky is a big supporter of that cause. But, if you go to 2 minutes and 49 seconds, you will see him get knocked the fuck out. It's horrible. Like the biggest fight of his life. He was winning. He threw a flying knee, got punched in midair, turned around 180 degrees, and landed on his face. It broke my heart. That was, my, oh my god. That was my oh my god moment. Now, what's your guys? Pick one from each video. It ain't that hard, and I know you can do it because it is amazing. And Greg, special for you, just for you. Since you live in Japan, you check out the third video, all right? You go about 2 minutes, 45 seconds in, and you will see the worst display of sportsmanship in MMA, in my opinion. Now... You watch the video, you tell me what Japanese CPR is. You will know exactly what I'm talking about as soon as you see the video. So you get to watch all the Japanese highlights. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, baby. And all right, there you go. I'm sorry I keep pushing this MMA nonsense on you, but it ain't MMA nonsense. It's MMA, and it's important, baby. So check it out. All right, there you go. Yeah.